Really, I mean, compared to the Revenant and the Fenrir, it's not really a tank at all. Well, we're getting boosted by a Kefri right now. Another living legend. We're just casually going around, and we have three living legends. We're not right now. We're going in. The, we're going in. Oh, this is... Okay, see, now we're being a bit... Seven living legends. How is this happening? The super tank bulwark actually got a buff on the last update. So we're going to try this thing out after it got the Aegis shield buff. Remember, the bulwark is actually the first robot in the game to have an Aegis shield. So let's see how it compares to other robots in the game now with the buff, with the Aegis shield durability buff. We're going to run two different builds. We're just we're definitely going to try out this Redeemer build. But we might also try out maybe the Devastator build. But let's get into a game. And here we go, bulwark time. Okay, we've landed here on moon map. And uh, we're running the Devastator build first here. So we have double Mark III Devastators loaded up. So just to look at the top left. So 212,000 uh, HP for our Aegis Shield and 293 for our actual robot. And let's go into battle. And I do have the Whiteout Drone. I think that's going to complement the Devastator pretty well. Let's get some shots off here. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, oh, this Hiroshi's coming straight through. Come on. Oh, he's lagging. I Did we trigger his last hit? We might have. There we go. Last hit triggered. Nice. Okay. Easy kill right off the bat. Nice. Uh-oh. This Phantom's coming through. Let's see if we can smoke him out. Yes. See you later, Phantom. We just turned that Phantom into a ghost because he's dead. Okay, uh oh, they're pushing hardy. Man, they four cap this already and they're coming through this left side. Okay, last day triggered on that scorpion. Uh oh, uh oh. Triple kill. Alright, there we go. Rampage! Oh, no. we are at a rampage already. We're like a minute into the game. See, the one thing is the annoying part about the bulwark is you always have to rotate between your shields if you want your Aegis shield to regenerate, which is actually really annoying. Godlike! Because the physical shield on the bulwark breaks very easily. Okay, there's a lot of chaos going on in center. Okay, you know what? Let's back up for a sec and just reload our weapons because that is chaos going on in the center beacon. Okay, my teammate is in there. What are these guys back here? EMP'd. Boom, beyond godlike. This tier, now we're going to smash the tier. Oh, come on. There we go, living legend! We just got suppressed here. Hold on, hold on. We got suppressed. Let's reload, reload, reload. Lock and load. Uh-oh. Onion pancakes coming through the center. Man, we're, we're doing a good job stopping them at center here. This Coca-Cola mini fridge revenant. Living legend again. Nice. We are cooking with this bulwark. And we have a teammate Mender there that can also heal us up and we're still at 281,000 HP so so far this build is working very well it's a bit odd because the bulwark really I mean compared to the Revenant and the Fenrir it's not really a tank at all well, we're getting boosted by a Kepri right now another living legend we're just casually going around and we have three living legends look at our speed with this Kepri uh oh this hover oh come on we can smoke this guy Living legend and four living legends with this bulwark. Man, this, is the bulwark really this good? Or are we getting a bit lucky here? Maybe a bit of both. Maybe a bit of luck and some skill and some, you know, decent bulwark buildness. All right, we're going back in the center. Last hand triggered on this revenant. This mender is here too. Wait for his last hand. A fifth living legend. I can't even remember the last time I got five living legends in a row. Especially with a bulwark. Can we get a six? Can we get a six? <laughs> this is dumb. Six living legends. This is absolutely absurd. Okay, we have a four cap right now. We're going into... We're going in. Oh, this is... Okay, see, now we're being a bit... Seven living legends. How is this happening? We have seven living legends. I guess we picked a good build. Our nuke amplifier charged up fully a very long time ago. Um, so we have seven living legends. And we're getting a bit low on health here, but I'm trying to recharge my Aegis shield. Oh! Ooh, okay, lucky we didn't lose a weapon there. 
Did we get him? Oh, we didn't get that Titan Slayer, which we, which would have technically given us an eighth living legend. Holy man, that was insane. Let's keep putting the pressure on them here. So that build definitely worked for the Bulwark. That may be the, met, may be the best Bulwark build, but we should still try out maybe the Redeemer Bulwark build the next game. Bulwark. I always mess up saying it. Here we go. Here we go. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Boom, Titan Slayer. The super fat shotgun. The obese shotgun luchador. Okay, looks like the enemy team may be mecking out right now. And smash. Double kill. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, okay. This Ravana literally, all he can do is use his ability here. It's like, man, you're not going through 900,000 HP. Come on, he's almost dead. He's almost dead! You are weak! Triple kill. Nice. Okay. 4.45 left in the game, but they have one player left. I still can't believe we had seven, li seven living legends. Almost eight. That is so crazy. <laughs> that might be one of the craziest kill streaks I've had in a long, long time. And smash. The spender's taking forever to Taking forever to take for everyone to take him down. Rampage. Alright, alright. Man, I can't speak. I'm still just so fired up that we got that many living legends in this game. It looks like it's just about over. Alright, there we go. That is game one. Devastator Bulwark. I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe it was part luck, but that build was pretty freaking awesome. But let's change it up now. So I think I'm gonna put the Redeemer on the Bulwark now and we'll see how that works out. So, I'm going to switch that out and let's jump into another game. Okay, we've landed here on row map. And let's go ahead and start the Bulwark uh, Glory build. I know I said that... I think I said in the last game that I was going to do uh, Redeemer. But I think the Glory are the better option. Just because... I don't know. I prefer the Glory a little bit close range. I haven't used two glory though. I've used, you know, the Erebus and Behemoth glory, but two, it's significantly less firepower. So let's see how these things really work. Shots, shots. Firing shots. Okay, we have to slowly get into position here. Man, see, 212,000 HP for an Aegis Shield seems so much, but these days, that would just. Players absolutely dissolve that shield in seconds. Oh, what is this guy doing? Oh, this Hiroshi's flying right by me. Come on, man. Somebody come at me. I just... No one's even shooting at me, bro. Uh oh This bishop guy is going for a home beacon. You want to go, man? You want to... Oh, that hawk just died. Oh, I think our weapons are on the same level as this Hiroshi. All right, nice. Nice. A nice, easy first kill there. Is he going to drop in on this beacon? No, I think he already dropped in. He did not drop in on this beacon, which is a little bit weird. Um, let's grab this beacon back and then go back in. Let's try to get some glory kills. So we can be glorious. Uh-oh. I see a revenant, a harpy. And I'm not sure what that guy on the left is. Oh, a hawk. As we see here. A hawk. See, man, I'm telling you, the physical shield in the bulwark, it's so vulnerable. It breaks so fast that I'd rather pick Sonic just get rid of the physical shield and give a stronger Aegis shield to the bulwark. Oh, boom. Okay, his shield is broken on this Revenant. We just EMP'd him with the Whiteout drone. Okay, hold on. What's this guy? This is the Bishop guy again. Come on, man. Where are you running? Where are you running? Okay, let's see if we can take this. We got, I got teammates here. We're going to do the most damage up close where all of our shots are landing. Boom. Nice. Double kill. And that was actually a good kill because we know how hard it, it is to take out a Revenant. With that insane resistance and drone shielding and drone healing and all that crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Double, double. Scorpion and a Revenant coming in hot. Coming in hot. Okay, we just hit our Aegis Shield. See, our Aegis Shield... Oh, man. It disappears so quick. Hold on. 
Okay, my teammate took him out, but it's fine. As long as he's out of there, let's go around to this bishop guy. Okay, dead, dead, dead. Whoa, we just took an orbital strike. Bruh. What was that? Okay, about 6 minutes, 50 seconds to go. We still have a good amount of HP plus our last stand. So we're in a pretty good spot here. Man, we're just kind of patrolling and walking around this side of the map. They're not putting a ton of pressure on over here. Or maybe they kind of were, but... Uh-oh, that is a mender I see back there. A mender and something else. Ooh, and a harpy. That is the worst thing we could face right now, is a harpy. Oh, look at that damage. Hold on. Nice kill. We just smoked that mender. Man, I'm telling you, the glory... I mean, they're also fully loaded up with the nuke amplifier. Oh, what? How did we just die? I don't even know how we just died. We lost a weapon, and then we just died. Okay, well, that wasn't exactly what I was hoping for with that last 60,000 health we had going, but we're going to have to keep going here. Okay, they got, a th they got three beacons, but still tons of time left. Uh, this is a siren. This siren's really annoying me. I hate this siren build so freaking much. So now he's in here. I don't even know I'm here, man. He's not even going to turn around. What are you doing? Oh, he's going to take off now? Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, bro. Target malfunction. That Dazzler Lantern. Build. Okay, let's jump. And splash. And I think someone... It was the other week. Someone actually explained to me that... Oh, no. Jeez, we're going to hit by four enemies and we had a target malfunction. God. Okay, let's keep going here. We do have a four cap, so let's keep putting the pressure on here. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I hit my Orion at a bad time. He was in the air there. Come on, he's almost dead. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Oh, man. You really want to shoot at me, Wham Bam Aujun? This guy's name is Wham Bam. Don't move. Let me reload. Let me reload. It's going to phase shift. Oh my gosh, we didn't kill him again. I missed him with the shot. Okay, there we go. Finally, we killed Wham Bam the Aujun. They're going to have to make a pretty big move here because their beacon bar is very low. Ooh, look at that Kepri health. We're just chewing through. Man, I honestly can't tell what's more annoying to take out. A Kepri or a Siren Harpy build with the, uh, the Razda Smuda. Uh-oh. They're all trying to push me here, but I'm just going to... Oh, somebody took out that guy. Whoa, double Hawks are shooting at me. Okay, I'm just going to hang out here. I'm just hanging out here trying to... Oh, we won. We won. Okay, we won the game. Man, that second game, it wasn't bad, but clearly the first Bulwark Devastator game was a lot more insane. Well, we got 3.64 million. Oh my gosh, that wasn't even that good. We came like middle of the pack in terms of damage. But guys, there you go. That is the buffed Bulwark. The Bulwark, I really think, needs an adjustment. The physical shield seems pointless. You might as well just give it a way stronger Aegis Shield and maybe like some kind of resistance. Because if you get caught out in the open, your Aegis Shield disappears so fast and then you just get ripped apart. So that, there it is. Bulwark. We still got seven, seven living legends. Peace. Spaghetti chickens.